What up, y'all? So it's Monday morning, man. We had a weekend of good fights, right? But with this video, man, I just gotta, I gotta say it, man. I said it immediately after fight during my live stream. I was live streaming doing live commentary and immediate reaction. Had a bunch of people in the building, so they probably heard me say some of this shit, right? And, uh... I also tweeted my tweet out saying what I said. I'll tell you about it, but <laughs> if you ain't already seen it, but yeah, man. So I watched the Boost fight. I'm talking about. I'm I'm studying the fight. I'm watching it. I got the motherfucker under a microscope. I'm watching. I'm watching in a pretense of the whole time I'm watching uh Jerron in his fight. I'm thinking about. What Boots versus Earl Spence would look like. That's why. That's all I'm looking at. Earl Spence, Boots, Terrence Crawford, Boots. You know, Ugas, Boots, everybody. So that's all I'm looking at the fight for. You know what I'm saying? And pretense. You know, that's in the back of my, no, not the back of my head. It's in the front. I'm looking. I'm, I'm looking at the fight, and I'm thinking this shit at the same time. So. I'm just going to come blank with the shit. <laughs> Straight up. Boots can't fuck with Earl Spence, bro. He can't. Earl Spence will make Boots put, take the boots off. He going to take the boots off and he going to put some goddamn slippers on. He might even slap the Crocs on, the ones with the holes in them. He might even put the Crocs on. But them boots, he ain't going to have boots on. After he done fighting Earl Spence, I'm just keeping it a thought. Wow, a lot of niggas is gonna try to come out this week. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you what they're gonna do. They're gonna come out this week. They're gonna come with the interviews and they're gonna make these videos saying that fans are so fickle. They was just saying that Boos is one of the top fighters. He's still a top fighter, but. <laughs> Yeah, he gave fuck with Earl Spence, bro. Period. And I ain't with that sympathy shit these bitch ass niggas be doing. I don't give a fuck. I watched the fight. Boots ass. He good, but he needs a steady target. His target, you need to be there. Right in front of him, not moving. For him to get off his work. He don't know how to cut the ring off. Because let's remember, cutting the ring off is a skill in itself. Something that Earl Spence knows how to do. If Earl Spence would have fought that nigga, Zuka Chan, if he would have fought him, he would have stopped him. And he damn sure wouldn't have been doing all that hair hunting. He would be beating him to his body to slow him down, right? See, it's coming with IQ. IQ, niggas. He would have been beating him to the body. The nigga had the happy feet. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That motherfucker, Zuka Giant motherfucker. That nigga had some hell of a footwork. His footwork was better than Boots' footwork. I'm talking about his footwork was so good. Shit. He almost looked more athletic than Boots. But, hey... Now that's that's a part of the game plan if you fighting boots. You gotta use some footwork and shit like that. That a lot of guys is gonna try to do when they fight boots from now on, cause that's what niggas needed to see. But other than that, he couldn't cut the ring off. Every time he you know, he don't know how to set up his I ain't gonna say he don't know how. He wasn't doing it. He ain't good at it. Because if he was, he would have been doing this shit. He, he lacking some fundamentals, which Earl Spence possessed. Right? Uh, when he's setting up his power punches, a lot of that shit predictable. See through. Telegraph. You see the punches coming a mile away. He loading on the shit. He loading up on them. He throw a goddamn hook before he even throw a jab. When have you, you don't know see Earl Spence doing that. He just leap with the hook. On some Roy Jones Jr. shit. And then he miss. And then he spin around. 
in a 360 like a ballerina. He, he spin around like a ballerina after he missed. See, Zuka John, he was just wanting to survive because if there was somebody like Earl Spence, it would have been bad. It would have turned out bad for Boots, man. I ain't going to fake it, man. It would have been bad, bro. Bad, 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 bad. I'm just saying, man, because he ain't make him pay after he missed. And I even got to say this about Bud. Bud don't too much do shit like that, to be honest. He, he, he set up his knockouts a little better than what Boots did. Even though neither one of them can fuck with Earl Spencer, we just going to keep it a thousand. Both of them more on the athletic side than fundamentals and shit like that. They more like, they neither one of them niggas. But we talking about Boots right now. Boots. He good. But it's levels to this shit. The nigga is not on Earl Spence level. Yet. Or just period, nigga. He ain't on his level, bro. You niggas been telling me all week that Boots is, he might be on Earl Spence level and, and he might be past Earl Spence and Earl Spence might want to fight Crawford or he might be stuck having to fight Boots. Scary Boots. That's what these niggas been telling me, man. I swear to God, that's what they been saying. So now... I come out and say what I say. Now niggas want sympathy. But no, nigga. We don't do that type of shit. We don't want no sympathy, nigga. This ain't that. Earl Spence will beat the fuck out of Boots and he might stop him. He'll beat the fuck out of him. And if he would have fallen that night, he would have stopped him. Period. Boots, he's still a young boy. That's, that's the best way to put it. He a young boy. He fight Earl Spence. Earl got a lot of experience. And even when Earl Spence was a top contender like Boosie is right now, he still would have stopped that Zuka John motherfucker. He still would have stopped him. He still was throwing way more jabs. And he wasn't headhunting. He was going to the body. He was actually breaking you down little by little instead of chasing the knockout. Right? I'm just saying facts. These niggas ain't going to say it like I'm going to say it. Because they're going to try to read around the bush and they're going to lie. Nigga, I'm just straight like that. Nigga, he can't fuck with Earl. Nigga, he he, he can't. He can't. <laughs> Period, man. It is what it is. Fuck. He good, though, but shit. <laughs> fuck all that. I seen where I seen. I seen enough to let me know he, he can't fuck with him, bro. He ain't, he ain't that good at setting up his his shots. He was throwing power shots, and he looked like he ran out of shit to do, and, and he couldn't do no more. And, I mean, and I didn't see the instructions he needed to even do the shit he needed to do. Just saying. I'm just saying, man. These niggas ain't going to like this shit, but a, a real nigga can take criticism. Who? I'm just saying, it is what it is. But I ain't gonna go too hard on this. But I'm gonna finish what I gotta say. Look, when Boots was fighting Zuka Giant motherfucker, he was very inaccurate. And 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 niggas' excuses is he was running. He was running. He was running, nigga. He wasn't running, nigga. Is that what we call it? I mean, if he running, they catch him. Cut the ring go. Something that Earl Spence does. So I'm just saying, niggas want to, this is what we've been talking about, right? So I'm just sticking to the script. <laughs> so Earl would have cut the ring go back when he was a top contender. Because even if you, you know, I'm matching up him now. And when he was a top contender versus Boots. When he was a top contender, because I cause the Zuka Giant motherfucking footwork kind of remind me of Chris Algieri, right? So if I'm comparing Chris Algieri and Earl Spence when they fought to 
when Boots just fought this dude over the weekend, it, it tells me. Dude couldn't get away from Earl. Earl was on his ass like a heat-seeking missile. That's the difference. He wasn't able to get away. He wasn't. If you if we talking about running, then he caught, he ran up and he caught him. You were supposed to be the superior athlete. That what they said. So how come I ain't seen no ring cutting no? I mean, why you ain't go to the body? You gotta go to the body early to slow him down. But he was head hunting because he wanted to knock him out. And there and now I see why when he fought Phil Greco, how them niggas head buggy. Cause he fight like he anxious. So he ain't really setting no pace. He ain't turning that heat on and then rising the temperature. He just he just he put the, the goddamn heat on ninety and it just stayed on ninety the whole time. He smashed the gas, all wheel spin. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the type of shit boots on. But hey man. I just want to let you niggas know Earl Smith will make boots put them goddamn slippers on them house shoes on cause them boots I got you know I got some boots on right now that why cause I'm about to do some work nigga well, if he fight Earl he ain't gonna be able to work too much cause it's gonna be bad <laughs> it's gonna be bad bro I'm just keeping a hundred bro boots ain't on Earl Smith's level and even Terrence Crawford set up his knockouts better than Boots. Uh, he Boots, I mean, Bud ain't that good. They couldn't ring off either. But when it comes to knocking a nigga out, he can, you know, he can set it up a, a lot better. You know what I'm saying? Boots looked at like he ran out of shit to do. He didn't know how to get the knockout once he couldn't do it with brute force. I mean, every nigga ain't finna just come. And the crazy thing is, when, it, when Earl fight Boots, he not gonna be doing all the excessive movement. He gonna be, he gonna be doing a lot less movement and still making boots miss just by subtle steps uh, and keeping the distance and using the jab. He gonna make boots miss just like that. He ain't gotta do all the movement. And, but the thing is, when he make boots miss, he gonna pay for missing. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm just saying, man, when Boots, boot, another thing, it seemed like he got a pretty good gas tank, though, because he was able to throw all those punches for 12 rounds like that, even though he was missing half them bitches, 75% of the punches he was missing. He still looked like he wasn't faded, but this thing about that, that ain't always tested because I got to see you getting worked in exert that energy at the same time. That lets me know what that gas tank really like. If a nigga really, you know what I'm saying, in the correct uh, condition. But I believe he's in good conditioning, though, for sure. Uh, I still don't know what that chin hit like. A nigga punch you in the chin, he ain't hit hard enough, and he wasn't trying to take chances like that. So still don't know what that's hitting like. Yeah, but I seen he couldn't cut the ring off. He's very inaccurate. He's a headhunter, you know, sometimes. And he likes to just go for the knockout. And he don't know how to really set it up if you ain't really right there. So, and I mean, the, the power, I mean, he hit dude a few times. And he wasn't hurt. I ain't seen him hurt not one time. And he didn't knock him out. So, you know, but the good thing is he went 12 rounds to show he can go 12 rounds. So he can grow from from her and get better and better for sure. But for now, we talking about right now. If that was Earl Spence in the ring versus Boots, Earl would have stopped them. Earl would have stopped either one of them that was in the ring that night. He would have stopped Rashidi Ellis. He would have stopped goddamn Boots. And he would have stopped both of their opponents all on the same night. I'm just keeping it in the thoughts. It is what it is. You like that like button? Subscribe to the channel. You ain't subscribed already. And that's why you niggas gotta keep your fucking mouth closed when you, you niggas, you niggas superhero, the goddamn dark winged duck, Bud Crawford. They lost faith in him, so they started trying to run the boost and shit. And now, yeah, now they looking stupid as fuck. But hey, stay over there, bitch ass niggas. Hit that like button. I'm out, child. Deuces.